Hey there, I'm in my little messy shop area and I'm working on a little something for Sniperama tomorrow. Haven't been out in a while and I'm finally feeling healthy enough to get out and play. I am going to try to do something that's kind of different for me, which is to start an airsoft vlog. Yeah. Any of you airsofters may know about optics and love the sniper cams. A friend of mine, Jeff, does a sniper cam. I sort of helped light that fire. It's true, but he does it really well. And I don't wanna take over a sniper cam position necessarily, but I wanna record some of my optics uh, and what I see through my rifle. So this is the replica L can, which is normally like $3,000. This is an airsoft version that doesn't hold zero or whatever, but it's called Phantom Gear. It was a lot less than $3,000, I'll tell you that. I had to make this little cup, this little eye cup, for the eye relief on my optic. So I've had this little cell phone mount for an optic for a long time, never used it because it doesn't, it never quite worked well enough. So what I've done is hook it onto the end of that. It allows me to hook my phone to that part right there to basically see exactly what I'm getting through the optic. So that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna film that tomorrow. I think what I'm gonna do is start vlogging on my Airsoft channel too. I haven't touched my Airsoft channel in a long time and I worked so hard in getting subscribers to it and in trying to entertain people. And then all of a sudden, six months ago, I just stopped. It went along with my health problems that I was having, but I feel like I've recuperated and healthy enough to start playing again. This is one of the things I think could be entertaining for them and I hope it works. I will be doing a Saturday vlog. Every time I go airsofting, I'm gonna do an airsoft vlog and post it on my airsoft channel. So Saturdays might be barren, but you can go there. I'll, I'll send a link like every Friday or so uh, from my Friday video to my Saturday video. So hopefully this would be entertaining. And if not for you guys, for the 25,000 subscribers that I've got on my Airsoft channel. So hopefully I could do something good for them. And it's been well overdue. All right, so here's what I'll see through my optic on game day. It'll look just like that. But you will see other Airsofters getting hit, hopefully. I never said I was a, a great shot, but I know this is an entertaining point of perspective. This is what you're going to see when I'm coming at you. <laughs> Not my eyes. I'll have to be down like this. Because as most of us know, we don't aim an airsoft through the sights, typically. Holy cow, man. I am supposed to be down assembling a Humvee right now, and I just get caught up in doing all these little projects. I still have to go to put a bunch of stuff at my office and take a trip to Deseret Industries, which is like uh, Goodwill. It's like a thrift store. I'm gonna donate a whole bunch of stuff, all this stuff in bags back here to try to minimize myself. I got a new bag, my cool new tactical bag, American flag. I've got my state flag. This is the Utah flag. My buddy's patch. They used to have a uh, company that sold tactical stuff. And I got my cut anything scissors, medical shears. Got some mag pouches. It's new and it's not falling apart like my old one and I'm happy. Got my Buddha Trinity here. It's like a green smoothie, really good. I also bought like this, this little brassiere pouch that goes on your chest, <laughs> has a zipper in the middle. It's, it's very tactical, very commando, kind of cool. I can wear that with my green backpack. I'm just trying to get ready for airsofting tomorrow. I haven't been airsofting in so long. I have another YouTube channel called Airsoft Utah. I have been doing that channel for since 2011 for so long I tried so hard and diligently to make that channel successful it took me five six years to make that channel successful and it was a success I was happy for it and I did a lot of things on it I've done a lot of things on it I actually recorded a video for it weeks ago I haven't put anything on it for so long and I've decided and I I've told you what I'm gonna do earlier check that channel out if you wish it's gonna be I mean it's all airsoft since my health is better I feel like I've recouped I feel like I'm gonna 
I just want to get back and play. But tomorrow is a big game anyway, so I can't miss it. It's called Sniperama. It's a big competitive sniper uh, game where a certain amount of snipers go out onto the field and you play these specific objectives. It's a ton of fun, and I am also a huge fan of the woods. I love playing in the woods. Don't get me wrong, I love the desert. We're always in the desert, but we rarely get out to the woods. Huge draw for me is to get out in the woods and play. Hey, I'm back at the uh, shop here. The Humvee shop. Just bolting stuff in. I'm putting on seatbelt towers. Just thought I'd say hey. Yeah, this is missing a bolt. with a window, then we add the door, and then we put a bit of a mold around it, and put the rest on. Oh, look at that horrible lens flare. <laughs> starting to come together. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Pretty. Just outside the door. Ah, oh, and there's a nice breeze to it. My ratty hair. Thank you for watching. Please visit my other channel, Airsoft Utah, to watch my Airsoft vlog. Be excellent to each other, and ta-ta for now.